Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to add Flask Migrate to an existing project. So what I mean by this is you have a project, you have a database set up or multiple databases, and you're using SQL Alchemy for your models, but you haven't been using Flask Migrate. So you've been making changes to your schema and you've been adding as many models as you need for your app. And now you want to add Flask Migrate to your project. Now, normally it's easiest to start with Flask Migrate at the beginning of the project, but you've already created the models, you already have a database, and you want it to work with the database that you have right now. So in this video, that's what I'm going to go through. I'm going to start with a couple of databases that I already have, and then I'm going to add Flask Migrate to my project so I can then make further changes to the database using Flask Migrate. So let me show you what I have. In this simple app.py file, this is my app here. I have an existing model called user. And then in my db.sql file, this is basically the create table statement to generate that table in my database. So we can pretend like this was the way that we created our schema before. So when we wanted to create a table, we would just write a create table statement, or we would go into our database tool and use the GUI to create tables there. I also have this Docker compose file to have three Postgres databases running. So I have a production database, I have a development database, and I have an empty database. And I'll talk about why I need the empty one a little bit later. And then I have this tool called Adminer, so I can look at the contents of each database. So here we see I have one for development, one for production, and like I said, one for the empty one here. And it has no tables, and uh, the production one and the development one have the user's table already. So each database is running on a different port, but they're all on my local machine, of course. So I just set that up so I can easily have three databases to work with. So the first thing we need to do when we want to bring Flask Migrate into an existing project is set it up in the first place. So here we see I have a Migrate um, from Flask Migrate, and I'm just setting it up in the standard way. I'm not using the create app pattern just to simplify the app.py. Normally that's what you would have, but even if you don't, uh, you're migrate variable here that comes from instantiating the migrate class is going to look something like this. Okay, so we have that part ready. And what we want to do on the command line is the very first step. So the first step is we do flask db init. So flask db init. And what that does is it creates a migrations directory. So here you'll see some configuration files, and then you'll also see this versions directory, which should be empty. So the versions directory is what is going to keep track of the changes we make to our database. But in our case, we already have a table in our database. So we need to take that into account. So in the ideal situation with Flask Migrate, you should be able to go from the empty database to your current database in any step in between. Meaning if you make 10 changes to your database over time, you should be able to go to each one of those 10 changes by using Flask Migrate. It keeps a record of every change that you make. And if you want, you can go all the way to the empty database. So we need that first step. We need a way to go from the empty database to our existing database because that has to be the first step because our database already exists. And that's where the empty database is going to come into play. And I'll show you that right now. So here I have three separate databases set up. Development is on port 5433, but the empty one is on 5434. So right now my app is pointing to 5433, which means the development database, but I wanna change that to the empty database. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I run Flask DB migrate, what it does is it compares the states of the database that is pointed to in my configuration, and it compares it to the models. And any difference between the two, it creates commands in our versions file that gets generated that will make the state of the database match the state of the models. Right, so here in my models, I have a user model, which represents a, a table called users, but in my empty database, I have nothing. So when I run migrate, it's going to generate a script to create this user table as the first one. Obviously, if you have more tables, this will generate more tables. So if you have 20 tables to start off with before you have Flask migrate, the very first version is going to have 20 tables. So let's try this. So I point it to the empty database and now I'm going to run flask db migrate and we see it creates the first version here. And if we scroll down to the upgrade, we see we have an operation for creating a table. So this is obviously creating a table called users and it has ID, name, and age. So it matches our model exactly. 
and it also matches the the structure of the database before because we designed our model before to match the structure of the database but from this point forward we want flask migrate to manage everything instead of us having to write scripts like this to modify our database so let me close that and now that i've created this initial file so once you've created this very first version you don't need the empty database anymore so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my development database. So that's going to be 5433. And then what I want to do is once I'm on the actual database, so the database that already has tables, I want to run the command flask db stamp head. So what this does is it's going to first create a table called Alembic version in our database. And I'll show you that in just a moment. And it's going to set the version of the database to be the name of this file. So that basically tells you what is the latest version of the database. So because we only have one version file, that is the latest version. As we create more migrations over time, that version will change and we'll have like a history of the versions by looking at the parent-child relationships between the two. But the most important information is to know which one is the most recent one. So I'm going to run this and it returns this message. I can then go over to the development database and refresh. So right now I only have the users table here. I'll refresh and now I have this Olympic version table and we see it has a version num column. So if I just select the data, we see that E8CE matches E8CE here uh, for our file name in the versions directory. And I can do the exact same thing for the production database. So I'll go ahead and change that to two. And then I'll run flask db stamp head again. And then I'll go over to the production database and refresh. And we see I have a limbic version. All right, so now flask migrate is set up. So now let's say I want to make some changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to this user's table. So let's go back over to the app and I'm going to add, let's say a date join column. So this will be DB column, DB date time. And now I can start the regular migration process. So what I wanna do is I wanna always start with development because I'm not going to uh, base my changes off the production database. I'll show you how to deal with the production database later, but for now, this is going to be my development database. So 5433, and I can do flask DB migrate and it generates another file. And we see here in the file, it just adds a column to the user table. So the operation add column, and it adds this date join column with the data type date time. Okay, so I've made that change. I've made the migration file. Now I need to actually apply it to the database so I can run flask db upgrade. And then if I go over to the development database here, and go back to the schema and then users here, we see I have a date join column. So I was able to add a new column to the table. I was able to modify my database using Flask Migrate, even though I didn't start with Flask Migrate in my entire project. And now if I go over to the production database, if I look at users, we see that it's still missing the date join column. So we have it here in the development, but not here in the production yet. So the way you handle that, is you want to generate the migrations files based off of your development database, right? So this is the database I'm using when I'm testing things out, when I'm adding new features. So this is 5433, which means the development database here. But once I have everything working, everything is tested, and I'm confident that it's going to work in production, I want to then take the migration file that I generated in the development database or from the development database, and I want to simply apply that to the production one. So when you're using a production database, you should never run Flask DB migrate because DB migrate generates the migration file. What you want to run is Flask DB upgrade. DB upgrade will take an existing migration file and apply it to a database, right? So we don't want to make changes based off of our uh, production database. We want to take the changes that we've made in the development environment and change the production database to match the development database. And it's just like when we write code in a development environment, we work on it, we test it, and we're confident about it. We move it to the production server. So we're basically replacing the production code with the code from 
the development environment and then that becomes the new production code so it's kind of the same idea here we we do everything to generate the code to generate the changes in the development environment and then on the production environment we simply change it to match the development environment and then we can go back to development and continue doing things from there so i've changed it to the ports what is it uh 5432 that's production and I'm just going to run Flask DB upgrade. So you should not run migrate, just DB upgrade. I can go back to production here, refresh, and now we see date joined. So that's basically how you bring Flask migrate into an existing Flask project that has SQL Alchemy models, but no Flask migrate. You just go through those steps. So the most important thing is having that empty database so you can generate that very first migration file. Once you do that, you have to stamp the head so it puts the Limbic version table in the database with the current version number. And then from that point forward, you can start using Flask Migrate in the way that it's supposed to be used. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything I've done, feel free to leave a comment now below. I'll put the code to this in the description below so you can take a look at it if you wanna try it out for yourself. And of course, like always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.